Hi guys, welcome back and welcome to another video. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look. So I started off with the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. And then I mixed some Cover FX Custom Enhancement Drops with my foundation and the Catrice Prime and Fine Beautify Primer to create my own custom base. So I'm applying it with a beauty blender from the back of my hand applying it in a thin layer all over and then just adding on places where I need some extra coverage like my chin and my cheekbones. Then I use a liquid blush. This is the Color Red Color Tint in Dion. I applied the product, most of it, on the tops of my cheekbones and then blended it out and sheared it outwards and just patting it in and then swiping a bit and then now I'm blending the edges with the same sponge that I used to blend my foundation so that it is seamless with the rest of my skin makeup. Next, I apply a liquid highlight. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. And I'm applying it not just on the tops of my cheekbones but I'm also making sure to get that pocket underneath the eye connecting to the cheekbone so that there's no break in the light that reflects and make sure that it's really seamlessly blended with the rest of the skin makeup like the blush and the foundation. And then with the same sponge I used earlier, I'm just blending out the edges. Next, I'm applying um, under eye concealer. I used a yellow shade and then a shade that matches my skin tone just to cancel out any purplish discoloration. And I'm blending it in with this same sponge that I used earlier as well. I make sure to look up as I'm blending so that excess product doesn't get into the creases. Then I use the Essence Camouflage Cream Concealer to conceal any blemishes on my face and any spots that I want to cover. Next, I have to set the base. So I'm using the W7 Banana Dreams Loose Powder mixed with Floor Mar Invisible Loose Powder. So I'm setting all of the places where I applied concealer and also setting my T-zone where I get shiny throughout the day. I'm mostly using tapping motions and then sweeping away the excess part. Moving on to the eyes, I'm using the Sleek Eye Divine Eyeshadow Palette and Oh So Special. So I start off with a transition shade. I'm using a purple shade as a transition shade on my socket line, blending from my outer corner to my inner corner. Next, I apply the lid shade. I'm using a deep purplish jewel tone from the inner corner right up to the ball of the eye. I applied it damp so that it stays on all day and so that the color also pops more. At this point, I'm just packing on the pigment and then saving the blending for later. And then to blend all those shadows together, I'm applying more of the same transition shade I used and then blending out the edges of that deep purple eyeshadow onto the crease. And then I switch to a clean petite crease brush to further soften the edges of that eyeshadow. Then I'm deepening the outer corner with a black eyeshadow on a precise shading brush. Applying it as close to the lash line as possible up to the outer V. Then I just take what's left on the brush and apply it on the crease to blend it with the rest of the eyeshadows. Once again, I'm switching to a clean, precise blending brush to buff out the shadows and blend them all together. Then I'm just switching back with the first blending brush that I used to clean up the edges. After this, I apply the same transition shade that I used on my lower lash line off camera. Then I take this metallic duochrome shade on a precise shading brush again, apply it damp, and apply it on my tear duct. Going back to the skin, I'm using Benefit Dandelion and layering it over that color red liquid blush. Then I'm mixing Hula and Hula Light together and using it as a bronzer all over the outer perimeter of my face just to add some dimension to the skin. Then I took a large flat brush and used it to buff out the edges of that bronzer. I give my lashes a good curl starting from the roots and then pumping it 
outwards up to the tips of the lashes. And for mascara, I'm using one of my favorites, the Maybelline Falsies Push Up Effect. Then, I use the Sleek Solstice Highlighting Palette to highlight the tops of my cheekbones. I'm making sure to also get the pocket underneath the eye. Then once again, I'm buffing everything in together with a clean blending brush. To finish off the makeup, I'm applying the Han Skin Care Cosmetics Lip Gloss in Nude Rose. I wanted to keep all of the focus on the eyes, so I'm just using a very, very nude shade. And then to lock in that makeup, I'm using the Kat Von D Lock It Setting Spray. And then a last touch of lip gloss, and then poof, I'm done! I hope you enjoyed this grungy purple smoky eye. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye!